YouTubers Electric Adventures here with a gameplay on my original Spectre Video 328 as promised in a recent video when I got that new SVI CAS uh, device. Um, did have a little bit of a technical difficulty um, apparently it does cause the machine to draw a little bit more power and they have a slow burning fuse in there that is actually quite low and the one in the 318 is actually larger than the one with the 328 because of course 318's the rubber keyboard one where it were expected to come with cassettes and they, they use to use the cassette player all the time and the cassette player is powered from the computer whereas the 3 to 8 I suppose to save a little bit of money they put a slightly smaller fuse in there um, so it's still a very low fuse we're talking the original was only 315 milliamps um, I was told 400 would do I couldn't get any 400 so I have a 500 and I asked whether that would be safe and they assure me it is and as you can see, my machine is working. We're getting a beautiful, nice, clear picture. Okay, let's continue. Um, as you can see, lovely, clear picture. We're using the OSSC to capture the output of this going into my Agato HD. We're getting a lovely, clear picture. So I'm going to just play skill level one. So Frantic Freddy is a game that I played on the Spectre video back in the day. Didn't own a cartridge. My, it was on cartridge. It's a bit of intro music, so the idea is, is even though I do look like a bit of a bug, this is actually a fireman. Oops, should be looking at the screen and not the capture, and they will kill me every time. Um, <clears throat> even though the main character looks like a bit of a spider, he's actually a fireman with a water tank on his back. And we have to try and put out the fires. In the, um, in the building. You shoot them and they gradually get a lighter red colour. You can shoot oh, you can shoot the ones falling down. And you notice there's a timer ticking down uh, on the left hand side. That's our limit for our level. you may limit that this time. Okay, so we've done that. And like these these early mass tail games, the gameplay changes for the second level. Okay, intro music. Oh, you have to shoot the fires out. And these purple ones, I don't think you can tell whether I strategy type game. Yeah. I actually did. Surprise, surprise. Then the 
nice music. So back in the day when I got this game, it was a very colourful game. As you can see, there is actually a lot of detail. It's using the um, system's ability to display colour vertically in quite high resolution, and everything is cleverly laid out so it doesn't look like there's an 8 pixel limit on colour in the other direction. And I was just demonstrating, really, as far as the game, it's a, you know, it's a bit of a, um, you know, a fun game you can play for a little while. <coughs> See how high score you can get. Its replayability, though, is probably fairly low. fun game, um, but even back then I knew it wasn't a game that I would play a lot, so thus I didn't spend any of my hard earned money on getting a cartridge, which was the only way to buy it, that we saw locally, but I do believe this did come out on tape as well. <coughs> I still can't believe I'm alive, obviously you don't get extra lives, although it is a pretty fairly low scoring game. There is one of the original games for the original Spectre video. This one was actually ported and released for the ColecoVision as well. Probably around the same time as it came out for the Spectre video in identical packaging as you can see above. Just um, uh, has a different banner down the bottom saying Coleco. Other than that, the whole colour scheme is exactly the same. Um, and an interesting, if simple game, nice and colourful, nice music. Um, and you know, less than 16k, so it wasn't a, a complicated title, but it was amazing at the time that it came out. It just showed how colourful the machine was, and the music, and multicoloured um, objects, and everything like that. And it was a good fun game. Alright, um, I shall uh, continue um, doing these gameplays of the original Spectre videos. I'm not going to do one uh, all the time, I'll just intersperse them in some of my videos, because it's the, it is my very first proper machine. I did have a TI-99 slash 4 before that, but I didn't have the advanced basic cartridge, that only had upper case, very limited tape saving, and I suppose that's where I learnt some basic techniques, it wasn't quite good enough for me, and then I bought the spec video through an 8, and the rest is history. So, alright, I'm Electric Adventures, thanks to all my subscribers, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.